Each year, members of Richmond's hackerspace, HackRVA, come together to design, build, and program the badges for RVA's SEC. We usually build all the boards completely by hand, but parts have become so tiny that this has become impractical. This year, Peter Warsilla, with tremendous effort, has built a pick-and-place machine to help us out. When our production line is in full swing, we can build about one badge every 10 minutes. There are still many parts which must be soldered and placed by hand, such as the display, the battery clips, and the rotary encoders, and a few others. Once the boards are assembled, they are checked for quality, and some fraction do require repairs. On the software side, we have quite a few new games for you this year. First, there's Goodbye Gulag, inspired by the Apple II classic Castle Wolfenstein, in which you play a rifle-wielding, grenade-throwing Ukrainian soldier escaping from a Russian gulag while gathering intelligence. Next up, a couple of arcade classics. First, Battlezone, the 3D tank simulation. And if we're talking about arcade games that use vector displays, we've got to have asteroids. A couple games take advantage of the badge's built-in accelerometer, like Magic 8-Ball and Etch-A-Sketch. There are a couple of two-player games taking advantage of the dual rotary encoders on the badge. There's Pong, and reminiscent of combat on the Atari 2600, there's Tank vs. Tank. Then there's Clue, the classic whodunit. You'll have to seek out other Clue players and interrogate their badges via the infrared transceiver to obtain clues to solve the mystery. And there's a few games from years prior. Badge Monsters, updated with new monsters, Smash Out, Lunar Rescue, Hacking Simulator, Conway's Game of Life, and Slot Machine. As fun as all these little games are, what's even more fun is writing your own games to run on the badge. This is easier than it's ever been with the new badge simulator. Head over to GitHub to hack RVA slash badge 2023 to get the source code for the badge firmware and badge simulator. There are detailed instructions there about how to set things up to build and compile the source code, as well as a guide to building your own games for the badge.